just about every day now, I find myself asking, why do I bother? And I keep telling myself, I am here to make as many people as happy as possible. And the way I've found to do that through the past years of my life has been through nutrition, lifestyle, anything pertaining to health, mostly diet, but certainly things like reducing Wi-Fi exposure and grounding in nature. The purpose of this video today is for you guys to help me keep that vision in mind and whatever happiness or joy I bring to you, you know, there's a reason you guys watch my channel, you focus on that, you know, whether it be the jokes I make in my YouTube videos, the educational videos you share with your friends and family, you know, perhaps the quality animal foods we sell on Frankie's Free Range Meat, maybe you just like making fun of my makeup every day. When I started this YouTube journey about four years ago, I never envisioned facing so much adversity. If all I wanted to do was make people happy, why is everyone seemingly against me? And in this past year, I've realized that this world is run by groups of not so nice people and there's an awful lot of money involved. Rewind those four years ago and I was facing a crossroads. Do I go out to Los Angeles and pursue being an actor or do I start a YouTube channel and spread the information I know about health? And it sounds like two completely opposite things, but the end goal was actually the same. I figured the more money, the more popularity I had, the more people I could help. And a Hollywood actor certainly fit the bill of money and popularity. So I struggled with that decision for a few years, still having acting in the back of my mind, but now I know it's all BS and that these societies and groups of people run anything. I don't want anything to do with acting. I don't want anything to do with those people, the same people that control Hollywood, you know, also pull the strings with social media influencers, especially the dietary community. And this is a very, very small pool compared to, you know, what's going on in the entire world. You know, whether it be becoming that famous movie star, perhaps something as ridiculous as playing with some Russian girls on Malibu Beach every day, or the lesser end of the spectrum, such as having a happy family or owning that car your dad always had. And there's nothing wrong with any of those things. In fact, I think most people should pursue those interests. And if I'm here to make everyone as healthy and happy as possible, those visions for those people should come to life easier but it's incredibly difficult for people to achieve their goals and visions when they are so hampered by negatives in life. Whether it's their narcissistic family, the fear-mongering media, the poison they've been fed their whole lives making them sick. The world is designed to take people down as opposed to empowering them. It instills as much negative as possible with maybe a shred of positivity. And most of the empowering that exists is people lying to you, these evil sociopaths, psychopaths in control. If there aren't enough positives to overcome the negatives in your life, you won't believe anything good can happen. For me, this relates back to something I heard. There's the right decision and the wrong decision. And more for the people in power, they make the wrong decision intentionally. Uh, the average person usually makes the wrong decision because they don't know better. And this has partially to do with inherent human selfishness as well as the society we're plugged into. But with the information I've been presented, the skill set I have, what I'm good at, you know, it's become pretty clear to me what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, you know, all this time I've spent invested in my YouTube channel and business. You know, I have to be on point 100% of the time, every single focus, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, or financial. And to put it bluntly, everything I've done for the past four years has been something I basically don't want to do. It's something I felt has needed to be done to achieve that end goal of improving people's lives through nutrition. So why do I have to face such adversity? Why am I, you know, almost struggling against all of this on my own? You know, why are so many people against me? And, you know, it's not to say that I don't have, you know, a great supportive YouTube community, but 
right now it really is overwhelmed by all of these other influencers that are out for themselves. I mean, I know the exact answer to that, but for the sake of making a point, why is it when I started my businesses, everyone, the vegans, cornivores, baldivores, whatever you wanna call them, all spent every last effort to discredit me, paint me as a horrible person, even make fun of my personal life. The carnivores and vegans spend more time fighting me than each other. Why are they against my meat business, my supplements, my natural hygiene products, but then go and sell some complete garbage under the disguise that it's healthy, that they're pretending to do what I'm actually trying to do? And it, it's kind of funny because these carnivores ooh -wee, are shoving tortured feedlot animal products down people's throats, whether it's in the form of that steak or like processed crap from deodorant, sprinkling collagen powder on steaks. You would assume the vegans would be more against those people than someone like me who actually cares about animals and makes sure things are raised properly. Uh, the reason I started these businesses isn't because I wanted to make money. If I wanted to make money, I have a list of a dozen things that would have made me far more, including selling that feed like greedy Angus Prime beef. Ooh, we boys. Let's head over to McDonald's. I would have made far more money doing that, uh, selling snake oil supplements like other companies, promoting blood flow resistance cock rings. I'm surprised no one's stolen that joke from me yet. Uh, you know, taking various sponsorships from astroturfing assholes, which I've been offered plenty of. I had to start these ventures because I didn't believe in those things. There are no reasonable options for people to get quality nutrition. Most local farms will cut out your kidney for a filet mignon steak. Supplement companies are charging double what they have to for their products. I haven't seen affordable and accessible options to procure the lifestyle that will make people healthy, therefore they can't afford to become happy. And that's because these people that run these businesses are focused on making themselves happy as opposed to providing a service for other people. And once you realize that those businesses are run by the same groups and societies that control the influencers, you understand why they're just promoting themselves internally. And if I was given a sponsorship, why would I want to give those people money that I know won't be given back? These people want to keep as much money in their hands as possible and I directly compromise each and every single one of their businesses by simply telling the truth. Since I have this genuine goal, I'm exposing these other companies and businesses that don't. You know, they compromise on their product, their customer service, whatever it may be. Therefore, I would basically run them out of town if I was to get popular enough. That's a big part of the reason I'm suppressed and shadowed and none of these influencers want their viewers finding out that I have more to offer. And if their viewers do find out about me, they always shine a negative light uh, on you know whatever I have to say. And to be honest, I can't blame them. You know, you got some of these people that have been pushing collagen powder for over a year. You know, they're suddenly not going to go to their viewers and say, "Oh, hey, sorry guys, I've been uh, poisoning you guys for a year." But hey, I still have good advice to offer. <laughs> not a good look. One thing that always gets me excited and I know it excites so many of my viewers as well is that they can trust me and rely on me as being a big element of their lifestyle, you know, that being the diet and the health and the nutrition information. But these other companies are painting the same picture and the average consumer doesn't know the difference until they try both. You know, both Frankie's Free Range Meat and whatever other meat competitor allegedly sell pasture-raised pork, for instance. But when my pork is deep red, almost purple, and the competitor's looks like supermarket pink slop, you know, who's telling the truth? You know, problem is, you know, those people have millions of dollars in advertising and control over these platforms to keep me quiet. You know, the same thing happened with uh, the native deodorant stuff a couple months ago where I showed that these guys are selling crap, but they have all this money. They can do whatever they want. You know, these people are evil. Uh, there's nothing else to describe them. You know, whatever you want to call them. They think that stuffing people full of estrogenic feedlot beef, starving people on a vegan diet is okay. You know, higher level people in these groups and societies are paying influencers to brainwash people 
and as soon as these lower level members have some money coming in, as soon as they can buy the car they want or the house they've dreamed of, they'll say or do anything to keep the illusion real. Those first few years on YouTube, I wasn't making a cent. I was working two jobs, I still work one job, and now that I'm a direct threat to their illusion, they've been feeding Americans for dozens of years, you know, they have to use their same tricks, lies, deception, gaslighting, astroturfing to brainwash people about who I am. And by doing that, the masses stay plugged into the matrix, and the few that might have listened, the few that I might have been able to help, stay deceived. So I've been getting less and less views on my videos. Uh, it first started when I did a vegan critique that went viral and they literally just stopped the views. I remember it went from like zero to 40,000 views in just under three hours. It was insane, but then it just stopped at 40,000 for no reason. Uh, then regardless of what I did, you know, my videos were capped at 20, 30,000 views. The second suppression was when I made a video calling out the carnivores and at that point, uh, I noticed a, a pretty big drop in viewership and to top it all off, you know, me talking about what's going on in the world right now, the Wi-Fi towers, staged events, you know, has almost seemed to put the nail in the coffin of my social media presence. Again, there's the right choice and the wrong choice. You know, I've helped thousands and thousands of people by, you know, warning them against a vegan diet warning them against agrochemical feedlot animal products and comforting them knowing that all of this nonsense going on in the world you know is just part of a plan to control you i'm empowering people to bring more positive into their lives but since those in charge don't want that you know they don't want any more people seeing my videos hey i could have joined those evil assholes you know i could have played the clown show and said whatever i wanted to make money can you improve someone's health shoving feedlot beef down their throat? Is a vegan diet better than a standard American diet? I mean, I've seen just as many people harm themselves on those diets than those that have benefited. And those people certainly aren't telling the whole truth. You know, there's a reason these other dietary influencers won't talk about current events like I do, and especially the dangers of radiation from these modern electronic and Wi-Fi devices. That's a big part of the deception. And... Since they're part of that group and that team, they can't tell the truth. What I hope I never have to say again, and what truly disgusts me, is how some of these influencers have treated me when I have only tried to do good. The attacks on my personal life and my family are truly subhuman acts. And the fact that these platforms have allowed, even promoted these people to say those things really shows that some evil people are pulling the strings and that they don't want you healthy, let alone happy. You, know, you won't see as much negative commentary on anyone else's YouTube videos. You know, I, I've, at least I've never seen anyone who's worse off than myself. And it's because these sad sacks of shit are upset I didn't join their little jerk off in the sauna club to promote their bullshit. You know, so if you see anyone talking negative about me, you know what their goal is. And it's not in the best interest of anyone but their selfish selves. P people don't do things like that. They don't go on someone's video every single time and create a new narrative to make fun of them. Whether it's their workout form, oh you're wearing makeup one day, oh this, oh that. It, it People don't normal that's not normal behavior if we can't get proper nutrition if we can't reduce the wi-fi exposure if we can't get out in nature if we can't exercise if we can't do all of these things to make us healthy therefore happy human beings then what other first step is there you know who why is there no one else that is trying to do this why am i like the only person it doesn't make any sense